tonight as we switch gears here. We're just talking about a dreary day across West Texas. Live look right now at downtown San Angelo. Not the nicest Thursday out there. Low clouds, drizzle, and cool air in place across West Texas. So not the prettiest scene here in San Angelo. 62, that's all we're sitting at right now in San Angelo. Dew point sitting at 59. So humidity is sitting at 90%. North winds at about 13 miles an hour. Abilene, 64 degrees right now under overcast skies. Current temperatures, a little bit uh, more sunshine, some peaks of sun off to our far north. So it's 70 right now in Throckmorton, 70 in Benjamin, 67 right now in Anson, Concho Valley. We're cool, all of us sitting in the 60s, 65 in Peyton Rock, 64 in Menard. It's 62 degrees right now in El Dorado. Satellite and radar, we spent the day all, all day today, overcast skies with some isolated showers, specifically here right now off to the northeast towards Eastland Comanche. We'll go on a radar tour here. No severe weather expected tonight, but some light to moderate showers here in Eastland County, Comanche, uh, Comanche County, Brown County and Coleman County as well. So some light showers pushing on through some heavier activity off toward northeast here in the Contra Valley. Saw a live look right now downtown San Angelo. This is just some drizzle pushing on through and that's going to continue to be the story over the next several hours. So overcast skies, some light drizzle, maybe some light showers expected this evening. Nothing crazy, no severe weather expected. This continues into your overnight period as well and into Friday morning. So the next 12 hours, temperatures not really dropping off very much. We'll stay in the low 60s, may drop into the upper 50s for overnight lows, but continuing with that drizzle during the overnight period. As we head into your Friday, once again, starting off with drizzle, overcast skies in the morning. And then like today, some light shower activity expected across West Texas for your Friday. This continues into Friday evening. Then some stronger storms start to come in from the south Friday late in the evening into the overnight period as we push into Saturday. We'll watch these storms carefully. No severe weather is expected. Some of these models trying to put out uh, some stronger storms. So we'll watch that carefully for some uh, stronger cells, maybe even a severe storm tomorrow evening into Saturday. So we'll watch that carefully. Highs tomorrow stuck well below average. Upper 60s may touch uh, low 70s in a few locations, specifically north of Interstate 20. Our normal high, though, is 84 degrees, so well below that and another dreary day across West Texas. This rain continues isolated in nature into your Saturday. How much rain are we expecting between now and Saturday night? Well, more soaking rain across West Texas, anywhere from about a half an inch to one upwards of two inches of rain, may even see more than that in a few isolated locations. So we need the rain here, still dealing with that drought across West Texas. So any rainfall that we can see is beneficial. We already picked up on two to four inches of rain up in the big country over the past 48 hours. So the next two days, more rain chances. Temperatures going to stay on the chilly side, only in the 60s up in the big country. Similar story for the Concho Valley. May touch 70. That's about the best we're going to do. We're going to warm up quickly, though, as we get towards Sunday. We bring that sunshine out. Temperatures back in the low 90s. Another slight chance of a shower as we get towards Tuesday. We'll watch that carefully, and then we'll stay in the 80s during the middle part of next week. So drier conditions as we head into next week. But the next two days going to be cool dreary with those isolated showers. Much more coming up after the break.